Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, there's a book that's called uh, Case Against uh, Fluoride by Dr. Paul Conant. Uh, he was on Coast to Coast uh, last night and he had a very interesting program. And a couple of things he pointed out is, well, from his book, you can go to Amazon.com and you can read some of his book. Uh, but basically, the fluoride they add to our water has not been, has not passed the safety and effectiveness standards uh, they require. Um, and also, it hasn't passed any tests to prove it is a nutrient. Um, basically, the reason why it was put on our water, from what I understand, is it's a toxic. Uh, industrial waste product and to sort of cleverly uh, redefine it as safe uh, they found that in a test tube uh, in an acidic environment it could protect the enamel of teeth and bones exterior uh, this is not uh, when it's taken internally it's only on, on an exterior substance so anyway, uh, and the only way you can get it removed from your public drinking water is to have a petition uh, and then get a petition circulated and present it, present it to the government or uh, contact your city council and see if you can, uh, what you need to do to have it removed. Um, so, and there's some arguments uh, saying that the low-income people need this nutrient or drug to keep them healthy and so uh, apparently uh, Dr. Paul Conant says that these are exactly the people who uh, need to avoid it the most um, and he talks about uh, you know having the choice and people telling us that we have the choice to remove it yes uh, we have the choice to reverse, you know, rever uh, you know, purify it with reverse osmosis or distillation. But some low-income people and elderly people cannot do afford to do that. Uh, so, so anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically, it's mass medication. So. Every doctor who treats anyone uh, has the person sign a uh, informed consent, and it means that the doctor will uh, personally communicate with the client or patient and tell them the risks of the therapy or the treatment. And I have never been informed of this, and um, I actually never never had the choice to vote fluoride in my water. And again, the only way we can take it out is to get petitions and petition the governing bodies that put it in. And But anyway, back to the doctor's informed consent. So uh, since fluoride is classified as a drug, then it should be treated as such. And so how can the industry uh, be higher than a doctor? Uh, and just uh, uh, sort of subsequently add it to our water uh, without having us informed on the consequences of uh, consuming it. Um, and so basically all the tests uh, that have been uh, to prove sodium fluoride is uh, protecting the teeth have done have been done in isolated reductionistic uh, uh, test tube type situations and so basically it's sort of like eating suntan lotion to protect your skin and so uh, finally ending with a quote uh, by Dr. Arvid Carlson, fluoridization of water is obsolete and is contrary to all modern principles of pharmacology. 
so I recommend again you go to the website uh, fluoridealert.net and or get the book by Dr. Paul Conant. It's called The Case Against Fluoride. Present it to your city council and let's get this stuff out. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.